Now, the Anti-Homosexuality Act is still making headlines in the country. Now, recently, after President Museveni assented to the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023, the American President Joe Biden said his government is considering application of sanctions and a restriction of entry into America against some of the Ugandan leaders. However, some members of parliament right here in Uganda have said they are not bothered by any threats urging the United States to concede to the rules of democracy and let it prevail. It is about democracy. It is about numbers. It is about what are the majority saying. That is what our government stands for. For me, what I ask the Americans is to, to draw a, a middle line between us and them. What we want and what they stand for. Going to the U.S. on trips, going to, to, to Yukon trips. So it is, I'm, I'm looking at it as, a, as an indirect blessing, the extent that it's high time now as a country to start embarking on the priorities. Now, these accuse the international world of forcing their ideologies on Africans, a move they say cannot see the light of the day. What is the motive? Is it to improve our society? Our society's morals and values? Is it to, to decay our society's morals and values? Is it to... Why? And why would you think that, 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 that money is the answer to the solutions of Africa. In history, Amin Aze had ever faced such kind of sanctions. But did Uganda end? The answer is no. He moved on. So we can move on. We are being interested into accepting this particular thing instead of them telling us the advantages of it. Now, on the other hand, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, has applauded President Museveni for assenting to the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. They disguise themselves as human rights activists, but are corrupting real human rights by adding LGBTQ to their agenda. There are always been a few people in our communities who were known as homosexuals and the communities knew how to relate with them the anti-homosexuality act 2023 is good and we are grateful to the president for assenting to it but it will not solve all of our problems we must also examine our own arts and repent of sexual greed now with the petition already registered at the constitutional court legal minds highlight ground for the petition we are simply saying this law has been made for this particular group of people when you're making a law you don't target a group you make a law that cuts across the board it does not target a particular group now they are saying that this law is targeting this particular group of people and by targeting this particular group of people you are violating the law and the law that they are focusing on is found under chapter 4 of our constitution which has sort of the bill of rights well there you go that is uh, the latest update on the buzz ug i don't know what you think about this story but in case you have anything on your mind just put it down in the comment section and uh, don't forget to follow me on tiktok i'm melads milo aka fuller right there right here on the buzz ug subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications it is a bye for now thank you Audio jungle.